All right, team. So here we go. We are entering the groundbreaker. We have Parvati because we can't add anybody else to our team yet. So we have Parvati um, and we'll see how this goes. This is Jane Elson. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to groundbreaker, by the by. Captain. Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Something you need? All right, then. She's pretty hype. Pretty hype. All right. Let's see what we can actually equip her with. There's a pistol and a melee. We have a bunch of weapons. Her armor is mechanics overalls. She has an armor of seven. Not bad. She has one perk. Nah. All right. This is what we have. We can probably up our armor, honestly. So our, uh, that explains why she's tanking for us. She's crushing it and we're not. All right. That's not the point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Oh shit. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This I like him already. Breaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Need a drink. Alright. Yep. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. The guy insulted my Rizzo's Rangers, all right? You can't just insult my Rangers and expect to get away with it. As a Buccaneers fan, so I can of relate. Of course, I decked him with a tossball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fair weather fan? I understand. Only the finest group of tossball players ever to take the field. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my Rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. I like this guy. Look, I hope this he gets to be in my, coming. Guy in my thing. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. I'm... Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. I am. I hey, am. I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, boss. Oh, well, I'm guessing I can't recruit Felix now. I was hoping. He seems like a... Honestly, he seems like the kind of person I'd like to keep around. Do I have to steal this stuff, or can I just pick it up? Does anybody see me? Okay, keep him quiet. Steely! Steely! Alright. I didn't even really need to sneak, really. Do you mind? I'm trying to file a report. You learned to keep your eyes to yourself. And yeah, I've done work this up late. Need to pay the bill somehow. All right. So there's just a lot of people around. I guess is uh. If Customs and inspection, right this way. If they don't have a name, they don't matter. Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Well, let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Okay. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford. 
our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines oh. like a Byzantine commode. Can't miss it. Okay, so he's the guy who uh, has a crush on on the former Captain Hawthorne. I don't know if he uh, will like us or not. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. All right. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Sure all right. Be seeing you. All right, I'm trying to make it to the super secret place over here, obviously. Um, and I don't know if I can or not. Ooh. <laughs> Captain Hawthorne. I am carrying too much stuff and am encumbered. What is this? Oh. Looks like he was crushed to death by this thing. All right, well that sucks, buddy. Is that a door? All right, we gotta get rid of some of this stuff, obviously. Um, we're gonna break it down. Just like that, we're not encumbered. I wonder if we can make it over there. Also, not a door. Um, we're just gonna take that hit. Hey there, buddy. I snuck backstage. Weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You're hearing things. Somebody definitely lives on Monarch. There was a lot of Let's modify our armor. Let's not, because we can't. You know, Sorry. More muscles to frown than to smile. I skipped over their, their conversation, but there's a guy named Graham. There's a guy named Graham, and, uh, what are these things? And he's on, uh, Monarch. So it doesn't warn you when you're encumbered, you just get to be encumbered, which is negative cool. Alright, finally found our person. Sorry. Am I causing a scene? You are. See him, Furu? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? Okay. As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long and she's apparently not receiving visitors. You say that like it's weird. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, Aww. that's all. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Something I can help you with? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. 
The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. The records say? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. All right. Take care. Can I just go? I hope those Automex get here soon. Can't All right. say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Ooh. Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Surgery mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. That makes sense to me. The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last right. he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Okay. This is another not shooty episode. But let's see if we can find this person. The Camardette. Looking for somebody. <coughs> Not that person. Okay, that's restricted access. Okay. We can maybe sneak in there, but I'm a little nervous about the sneaking yet. So let's just keep it rolling. Let's see if we can meet Gladys. CMP Mirror Maple Syrup. It's near this complete breakfast. You've been following that series? The Hunt for the Wimbro? The pirate ship? I like that. Stuff about pirate ships are now docu series is Go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastards. Can I just yeah, no like go in here? I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Alright. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. That is rough. Something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer. Who is Phineas Wells? I don't, oh, that guy. <laughs> I forgot who like our main number two guy is. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Yeah, he was in love, a boy. Oh, Alex. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? No! How dreadful. That was always oh, Alex's man. greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. I don't think he told you none of this shit, homie. The droppings. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Ah, that's why he liked him so much. You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. 
That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, what am I going to do now? Ah, yeah. Lord will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else? I... Be my guest. Oh, good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. Okay. Oh, law, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. Then why? As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. Okay. Ask away. There we go, we leveled up. Just gonna get more shooty. More talky. We're gonna up our tech. Alright, and I think uh, I think we're done for this episode. Thank you for coming through. We're going to try to be more frequent. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. You can see the social media is hopping by. Feel free to follow me on any of those. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Later, internet.